As you gaze into the infinite stretch of the night sky, filled with glittering stars and cosmic wonder, one timeless question quietly lingers. Are we truly alone in the universe? For generations, this question has stirred the minds of philosophers, astronomers, and dreamers alike. But now, with revolutionary advancements in space technology, we may be approaching a real answer. At the heart of this breakthrough is the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a marvel of modern engineering designed to capture faint, ancient light from distant corners of the cosmos. Like a cosmic magnifying glass, JWST peers deeper into space than any telescope before it, unlocking secrets hidden in the fabric of the universe. Recently, JWST turned its attention to a fascinating exoplanet known as K218b, orbiting a dim red dwarf star around 120 light-years away in the constellation Leo. Initially, it appeared to be just another far-off world. But detailed analysis told a different story. K218b belongs to a category of exoplanets known as sub-Neptunes, larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. These types of planets don't exist in our own solar system, making them uniquely mysterious. They fall somewhere between rocky Earth-like worlds and gas giants, and their unusual properties mean we have little to compare them with. Despite its size and close proximity to its host star, just 0.18 astronomical units, K218b is not scorched or inhospitable. That's because red dwarfs, while energetic, are much cooler and dimmer than our sun. This places K218b within the habitable zone, sometimes called the Goldilocks zone, where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist under the right conditions. And that's where the excitement began. Using its advanced spectroscopic instruments, JWST detected water vapor in the atmosphere of K218b. But the surprises didn't stop there. The telescope also picked up carbon dioxide and methane, gases that occur naturally in planetary atmospheres, including Earth's. But the most intriguing signal was a potential trace of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule on Earth that is only produced by living organisms, especially marine microorganisms like phytoplankton. If confirmed, this would be the most compelling biosignature ever detected outside our solar system. K218b may not have oceans teeming with whales or forests echoing with life, but the chemical hints of habitability suggest that simple life, perhaps microbial, could exist in its alien environment. Part 2. Hycean Worlds, a new frontier in astrobiology welcome back. In Part 1, we uncovered the remarkable discovery of potential life signs on K218b. But to truly grasp the importance of this planet, we must explore a revolutionary concept in exoplanet science, the Hycean world. In 2021, astrophysicist Niku Madhusudan introduced a bold idea, a new class of exoplanets dominated by hydrogen-rich atmospheres and vast oceans. These, Hycean, planets, a term combining hydrogen and ocean, could be far more common in the galaxy than Earth-like planets, and perhaps more suited to life. Hycean worlds may be up to 10 times the mass of Earth, with deep oceans hidden beneath thick layers of hydrogen gas. This unique composition helps trap heat, potentially allowing liquid water to exist even at distances from their stars where Earth would be frozen. K218b fits this profile remarkably well. Due to their size, Hycean planets are easier to detect with telescopes like JWST. They also have wider habitable zones, meaning they can support life even under extreme conditions. In some models, ocean temperatures could reach 200 degrees Celsius, 392 degrees Fahrenheit. But microbial life, especially types that resemble Earth's extremophiles, could still survive. Life under such harsh conditions may not look like anything we know, but it could thrive just the same. Joost's observations of K218b were made using a method called transit spectroscopy. When the planet passes in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through its atmosphere. JWST captures that light and analyzes it, revealing the chemical makeup of the atmosphere. From only two observation sessions, a total of just five hours, JWST detected the presence of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and possibly DMS. 
Each of these molecules tells part of a larger story. Together, they say what comes next. While the initial findings from K218b are groundbreaking, the scientific community approaches them with necessary skepticism and caution. The detection of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule associated with biological activity on Earth, has ignited interest worldwide, but it is far from definitive. The signal is faint, and there's always the possibility of misinterpretation or interference from other chemical processes we don't yet fully understand. To confirm the presence of DMS, scientists will need to observe K218b's atmosphere with even greater precision. This means more observation time with JWST and, eventually, using instruments aboard future telescopes like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, ESA's aerial mission, or even concept observatories like LUVOIR, Large UV, Optical, IR Surveyor, and HABEX, Habitable Exoplanet Observatory. These next-generation tools will be capable of capturing atmospheric data in finer detail analyzing not only which molecules are present but also how they interact, and potentially even how they vary with time, weather, or seasons. In addition to spectroscopic confirmation, computer modeling and laboratory simulations on Earth will play a crucial role in validating whether DMS, or similar biosignature gases, could form through non-biological pathways under the conditions found on Hycean worlds. It's possible, for example, that DMS or its spectral fingerprints could be mimicked by exotic chemical reactions that occur in high-pressure, hydrogen-rich environments. Understanding these edge cases is essential before we can declare the discovery of alien life. Yet even without a confirmed biosignature, K218b has already reshaped the landscape of astrobiology. The discovery of water vapor, methane, carbon dioxide, and a possible biological marker on a world so different from Earth forces as to reconsider what habitable really means. For decades, our search for life focused heavily on Earth analogs, rocky planets in the habitable zone, with thin atmospheres and liquid water on the surface. But K218b is not like Earth. It's larger, wetter, and likely cloaked in a thick blanket of hydrogen gas. And yet, it may still be a cradle for life. This realization opens a new door. Hycean planets, those with vast oceans beneath hydrogen-rich skies, could be among the most common habitable environments in the galaxy. Their size makes them easier to detect with current telescopes, and their atmospheric properties may help preserve the chemistry of life. Early surveys suggest that sub-Neptune-sized exoplanets like K218b are much more numerous than Earth-sized planets. If even a fraction of them are Hycean in nature, the number of potential life-hosting worlds could be staggering. What's more, their diversity adds resilience to the possibility of life across the universe. Life that thrives under miles of water, in acidic clouds, or emit intense radiation may not need an Earth-like paradise. It may only need time, chemistry, and a bit of shelter. This expands the frontier for exploration and redefines our expectations for alien worlds. Conclusion. A new perspective on life and the universe The journey to K218b is not just about a single planet. It represents a transformative moment in our search for life beyond Earth. A reminder that the cosmos may be more complex, creative, and life-friendly than we ever imagined. We have always looked for planets like ours, assuming Earth is the universal blueprint for habitability. But the discovery of potentially life-supporting conditions on K218b suggests that life might not need to follow Earth's rules. It could emerge in conditions we once dismissed as extreme or uninhabitable. It could flourish beneath dense atmospheres, in superheated oceans, or under the flickering light of dim red dwarfs. In a way, this is a humbling realization. It challenges our assumptions. It reminds us that Earth is not the standard, it's just one possibility among countless others. Our definitions of life, of habitability, of what is normal, are being rewritten by the data flowing in from JWST and its successors. And perhaps the most profound lesson is this. We are finally entering an era where detecting life beyond Earth may move from science fiction to science fact. With each discovery, with each pixel of distant starlight decoded, we inch closer to answering one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions. 
But even if we don't find definitive proof of life tomorrow, or next year, the journey itself is reshaping how we see the universe. It's no longer just a cold expanse of stars and dust. It's a dynamic, living cosmos, full of mystery, wonder, and maybe even company. K218b has shown us that life might not be rare, it might simply be different. So, what comes next? Continued exploration. Deeper questions. Bolder missions. And above all, a renewed sense of curiosity.